Hello friends, so what I have for you today is I'm gonna upgrade the ESC on the Beast. So this ESC on 3S, it won't handle for too much, alright? I have the, all this contraption in mind, but I'm gonna change that for a super surpass hobby brushless ESC, 45 amp. The benefits of this ESC, besides being 2 to 3S, alright, it has a built-in fan. And this is the Surpass Hobby M series model. I chose the M series instead of the KK series just due to size because the M series are much smaller ESCs. So I'm hoping it's gonna fit here in the same place. But we'll see that in a minute. All right, of course, upgrading the ESC on this RC car, you'll have to put a new transmitter and receiver. And this is the cheapest one you can get for around 30 US dollars, something like that. The ESC, I can't remember the price, but link will be down there in the description, as well as coupon codes like I always do. All right, so that's what I'll be doing today. I'm gonna remove all these shenanigans. Let's dive in. Right now just disconnect the servo, the SC is out. I'm gonna change the wiring here because we're not gonna need this fan anymore. Now let's test fit it. Did I get lucky? Yeah, seems like. But I already see we'll have to keep the motor wires right against the ESC. All right, we'll try. We'll have to try and keep it this way. Maybe I'll put a zip tie around it. I'll figure it out and I'll show you what you'll do. But it fits without modifications. That's why I chose this M series ESC. I'm just gonna use double side tape and attach it like that. Now. This ESC comes with 4 mm bullets and these motors, the 28 thickness cans, tend to use 3.5. So you have two options. I'll leave in the description adapters. I have these ones here, but they are a bit long. Right? And we'll have too much cables in here. There are adapters that only use this space. I don't have them, but I'll try to put them on the screen and the link in the description if I can find it. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna change these connectors on the SC, all right? Solder three and a half millimeter bullets. So to these solder bullet connectors, you put a little bit of solder. On your soldering iron, always have a wet sponge to clean it. I have this tool. It has different holes to put different bullets and connectors, all right? This makes life easier, but you can also use a piece of wood and use a drill to make the hole. But this costs around five to 10 bucks. So I think it's worth it. So that's about it. Remove the connectors and now I'm gonna cut the wire on the SC a little bit shorter. This is too long. Just heat the solder and stick it in. Wait a few seconds. Done. I have some extra solder, but I'll remove it. You put the heat to the bullet. You wait till you see the solder bubbling. Yeah. 
it's that easy these small bullets are very really easy to solder because they are very easy to get hot I'm gonna put shrinking tool always clean the, clean the iron after each use and put a glob of solder on top and turn it off so it's done unfortunately I didn't have the red shrinking tool so but that's not a problem it still works the same so now I'm gonna use double side tape and install it like this probably the button will be somewhere here I'll see in a second as I told you I have to keep the wires in this placement so this is what I did I used a two of this thinner zip ties I attach one zip tie to the other to make it longer and this is it simple cheap and effective very good I'm gonna cut the zip ties yeah seems pretty well glued so that's it now it's just a matter of connecting the receiver we'll see where I'm gonna install the receiver probably here in the middle somewhere yeah I'll go figure it out and I'll show you where I installed everything and wrap it up all right so we're almost done I glued the button with double side tape here you see I used some zip ties to tidy up the wire I connected the fan to the third channel and as I know you guys would like to keep lights working I also did that I changed the connector for the lights all right for this ph2 pin connector i think that's called link for the connectors are down there in the description and i'm gonna use this third light module that i use in several rc cars if you watch my channel you know what this is but basically this connect the lights and control them from the remote all right and it has several light modes it blinks it goes fade in fade out several modes and of course on and off I'm gonna use double side tape like so now I'm just gonna pass the cable through like that and connect the lights to the third channel control module let's turn it on and check yeah lights are working as you can see and I can control from this button, the channel 4. You can see it has different modes. It has two or three modes, I can't remember, but the one I want is this. So I still have lights. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to bind. Steering is working. Rear is going reverse, is not a hundred percent. So we know we are correct. <clears throat> so everything's working. I think this ESC is a good upgrade for this RC. You'll have not to worry about making strange connections for your fan you'll still have the lights as you can see it takes basically the same space as the stock ESC did just have the receiver here on top 
the rest is basically the same so now I want to talk about something with you if you get this transmitter and receiver from Flysky you'll have to at least on this one this MG4 model this receiver did not come with failsafe set up from factory all right and you have to set up that because the first time I connected if I turned off the transmitter first the car would start going forward all right and we don't want that so what you'll need to do on this transmitter remember is after you bound them together they normally come pre-bound from factory so you don't need to mess with that but if you do in the manual instructions it shows it clearly and it's pretty easy to set up the file safe after everything is bound like we have here right when the car and the transmitter are working together now we can set the file safe and for that it's pretty easy you leave it neutral because you want it to be in neutral when you the transmitter turns off and you just click this bind button here for three seconds you see this green light blinks and now it has set up the file safe so when the transmitter is turned off it will stay neutral all right that's important just a quick tip all right so now just for the good sake of trying I'm gonna connect the 3S in here I'm gonna use the ZD Racing BX12 battery as it fits all right I have this one from CNHL but maybe it's a little bit too heavy maybe I'll try it yeah it should be fast now we can use our beasts in two or three s all right without having to worry about burning the sc this sc is awesome fits perfect i show you all the build how you can keep your lights right all that in this video i hope you enjoyed in the next video i'll do the bashing session with the beast all right i hope i catch you in the next one please don't forget to hit that thumbs up consider subscribe to my channel if you're not already once again thank you very much for your company your support thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye